I've been following Prince Siddhartha's every step, so as to stop him from achieving enlightenment. If I let him go ahead with this, he'll slip out of my grasp for sure. I must cut him off now. I must destroy him. Ha 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 ha. The power of the Bodhisattva's spiritual qualities and goodness, accumulated over countless lifetimes, protected him as though in invisible armor, his heart steady and peaceful, unshaken by fear. Weapons cannot harm the prince. I must make use of a ruse to deceive him. Prince Siddhartha, the seat you sit on came to be because of my own spiritual powers. My troops are my witnesses. You must get up at once. Pay attention, King of Deceivers. This seat comes to me as the fruit of my good actions accumulated through all of my efforts in the past. <laughs> then who will bear witness to your ownership of this seat? I will bear witness. Darani, <laughs> goddess of the earth! All the merit made by his good actions in the past, even the water which he has poured on the ground in dedication of merit, soaked up by my hair and kept close to my head, is sufficient to bear witness to his virtues. After his victory over Mara and his host of deceivers, the Bodhisattva's mind was firm, focused, and concentrated. 